Uh, the first arrival was Engine 6. Engine 6 had four houses fully involved. At that time, at 0335, uh, uh, a second alarm was called for. Due to the fact that we had live wires down, they had to expedite public service electric and gas in order to secure the power. They actually secured the whole grid, so this whole grid here, there's no power at this time. Uh, we then struck a fourth and a fifth alarm, which is called a 0350 and 405. Every unit in the city of Trenton is here, as well as mutual aid from Mercer County and surrounding communities. Uh, we have fire right now in eight single-family dwellings that were all attached. We have an exposure uh, on the uh, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta side. If you look at all the buildings, uh, we have Alpha and Delta that's actually totally collapsed at this point. This is actually going to be an all, a, what you call a defensive attack. Meaning all units will be outside of the collapse zone, trying to suppress this fire. That's where we're at at this point. What about injuries? Excuse me. Injuries? Uh, I do not have those numbers at this point. I know there were some people transported to the hospital, but I do not have those numbers for you at this time. And what about the winds? How are they affecting your? Life? The wind really wasn't the, the, really wasn't an issue. The biggest problem we had, as I stated before, were the wires that were hampering the firefighting efforts. And because of safety, public service electric and gas responded here. They actually shut off the whole grid so that our firefighters can operate safely, so we can mitigate this incident. Were the wires down due to the fire or the wind? Uh, I, that I don't know. The only thing I know is they came down. Okay. You mentioned the cars were on fire. Do you know how many cars? No, I don't have that information at this point in time. Uh, so did they cause any fire? Like were they adding to the fire? The uh, again, I, I don't I don't know that. The only thing I know is that the wires came down. And that prevented you guys from an early attack? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can you explain that? Yeah, what happened is as the companies were actually stretching lines, as you know, electricity and water don't mix. So because of that, from a safety perspective, we had to pull our firefighters back until public service electric and gas got here to make sure the scene was safe. Once public service electric gas got here and actually cut the power, the whole grid to this neighborhood, then we were actually actually go back in with our hand lines and be able to put this fire out. So how, how long has that been back? Uh, that I'm not sure, I don't know. Several minutes? I don't know, okay. I don't have any information. How many fire trucks out here? Excuse me? How many fire trucks out here? Oh, uh, we have probably over 30. Um, so with the eight, um, there's, what's the status right now? I know eight houses. Right now we're in the process. We still have eight houses burning. We have a collapse on the Alpha Delta corner, which is the top right corner. If you're looking at the houses from the front uh, that have collapsed, we still have a heavy volume of fire uh, involvement of all eight homes at this point, And that's where we're at. That's all I can tell you. Um, any of the homes salvageable or are they all? Again, we're still having firefighting operations. We haven't made that assessment yet. Is there threats to further houses? As of this point, we actually have hand lines protecting the houses on Olden Avenue. We also have exposure lines on the Bravo side protecting houses along Trumpet uh, uh, Avenue here, as you can see. We also have the house uh, hose lines in the front of the fire building that are protecting the houses on the Alpha side across the street. And we have a couple of companies on the Delta side as well protecting those homes. How many evacuations? I don't know at this point. But were people evacuated? People were evacuated, but I don't have a total number. How many blocks are without power? Uh, again, I don't know. I just was told that the grid is shut down. That's all I know. Okay. And were there um, buses brought in because people were evacuated? Uh, again, I do not have that information. And what's your name? Leonard Carmichael Jr. L-O-E-O. N A R D C A R M I C H A E L Jr. I'm the Deputy Fire Chief of Operations. Okay. I'm sorry, do you think of very much? Are you getting us out of the Okay, just hold it to me one second. I will give you updates probably. Yeah. I will give you updates when I can. Alright? So if you just hang out here, probably within another 30 minutes to an hour. Alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright? Really thank you. Thank you. So again, here, let me give you a quick look. I am in Trenton, um, right off of North Olden Avenue. Let me give
Live on CBS Philly. So I'll see you then.